What's up guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Joy-Con. Today we're going to take a look at a game that I was really excited about and now I have pretty mixed feelings about. You guessed it, that game is Ukulele. Ukulele was started as a Kickstarter campaign by a team of people that knew each other, that were co-workers, some of them, some of them just knew each other from the industry. And they called themselves Platonic Games. Now, if you look into the back catalog of games that this team of people has worked on, uh, they haven't necessarily worked together on these games. Some of them have, but not all of them worked on every single one of these games. But let me just tell you guys the list of these games. It's ridiculous. Banjo-Kazooie, Grab by the Ghoulies, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong 64, Killer Instinct, Battletoads, Diddy Kong Racing, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Perfect Dark, Little Big Planet, Banjo Tooie, Lego Batman. There's a few more games. Uh, I mean, it, it the list is just ridiculous. These games are all um, just incredible games that have stood the test of time. People love these games. They're absolutely phenomenal. So you would think that when these guys all get together they make magic happen and so when they first started this kickstarter campaign i was absolutely ecstatic i could not believe that they were making another game that was supposed to be like a spiritual predecessor to banjo kazooie it's called yuka Lele. get it so one would assume that this game would be absolutely phenomenal and I am enjoying this game, but there's a few things I don't like. I don't like that it took me two playthroughs to really enjoy the game. I am now playing through so that I could do this review. I already played through it once, but I needed video footage for this review. So I went ahead and picked it up again, expecting it to feel just like the first time. And actually my second playthrough, I am appreciating this game a lot more but I think the reason for that is because I know where things are now this game doesn't really ever lead you to where you're supposed to be like those classic games did like Mario 64 like Banjo Kazooie those those classic platformers that this game was inspired by it just doesn't feel the same and that's really disappointing um, I don't know, I'm hoping a hat in time can do that for us, but really nothing has done that since those N64 games back in the day. That really, they're, they're true collect-a-thons. They really, you get lost in the world, and you're collecting all these different items and, and these things, and you get lost in the story, and you really feel like you're in their world. And this game was supposed to be that, and I just, I, I really, really wish it was. And it does feel more that way this time around. But like I said, I think that's because I know where things are. And it really shouldn't take me this many hours to really appreciate the game for what it is. I will say the music is on point for sure. The music really reminds me of Banjo-Kazooie. It's very charming. The, it's, it feels really good. I, I like that everything has eyeballs on it because that's something... You know, when I was a kid, that's such a recognizable thing from that uh, Rareware team back in the day was to put eyeballs on everything and make everything look silly and friendly. And and I really appreciate that about it. And I do see some things in the game that are also sort of inspired by Donkey Kong Country, like the minecart. That's really cool. So I do appreciate that, and I do think they tried, but it's really hard to capture that same world and that same kind of feeling while also changing it so i i don't want to make it sound like it's a bad game because i don't think it's a bad game i think if you play through it once and you kind of force yourself to get through the world you'll really enjoy your next playthrough because you'll know where things are and it'll go a lot more swiftly and quicker and i i think Really, the the main thing that I dislike about this game is just the poor level design. Because being on newer consoles, the worlds have to be bigger. Think like Mario Odyssey. Look how big those worlds are compared to the worlds in Sunshine or in Mario 64. 
And that's sort of what they were going for was to go big because that's what gamers like. They like big worlds that they can explore for hours. But to me, the worlds in ukulele felt big and empty. And I really had no guidance or no rhyme or reason for where I should be going, what I should be doing. And I, I think that really was the main takeaway for me was I didn't like the level design. There is a new ukulele game coming out very soon. It's a side scroller. That looks a lot like Donkey Kong Country to me. I think it'll be a really good side scroller. I am excited to try that one out. Um, so, you know, don't get the wrong impression from me. I, I think ukulele is charming. The music is there. The characters are there. I could have used a little more characters, um, maybe a little more plot, but it's not a bad game, and if you can get it on sale, I do think it's worth your time to try out and, and to have. You can, you know, play it once when you first get it, and then wait a year and play it again, and you'll remember things, and you'll really enjoy that second playthrough, I think. Let me know in the comments if, if this was your first game made by these same people. Did you enjoy this game? Is it something you like? Um, I've been gaming, you know, since I was five years old. That was 1995, so I've been around for pretty much all of it, um, at least home console gaming. And so I don't know what... Pe people might have differing opinions than me. Um, if you're an old-school gamer like I am, let me know what you thought of ukulele, and let me know if it's the level design that you disliked, or if there was something else. I am curious to get other people's feedback. So let me know what you thought of ukulele. I have to mention that Best Buy does have physical copies of this. Um, Limited Run Games originally was going to be the only release and Best Buy made a deal with them and they made a whole bunch of them with a different cover of course so that your Limited Run copy still holds its value. But if you're going to pick up this game and if you can have access to Best Buy, purchase it there, please, because we like physical media. We don't want that to go away. We don't like this Google Stadia garbage, whatever this is. If you enjoy my game reviews every Tuesday and Thursday, and you enjoy the news Monday and Wednesday, and you like watching us live stream Mario Maker on Friday nights, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and have a great day.